Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vishwagattu and this is VG Studios. Today's video is brought to you by Ludacase.com. Unleash your inner gamer with Ludacase. Ludacase is the one-stop shop for all the best and affordable PC cases. Their latest and greatest case is their top-of-the-line Ludacase in it. With three pre-installed RGB fans on the front and a built-in RGB controller, this mid-tower ATX case is the best bang for your buck, meaning you can install up to six fans that can all be controlled via the built-in RGB controller. And what makes this case even better is that other than the extra room for cooling, the cable routing options included with the tie-downs and the support for two 3.5-inch drives and three 2.5-inch drives is that this case is built solid with 0.5mm thick tempered glass and steel meaning that it is built to last. In fact, this case is so good that I personally shall be using one in my next PC build video that I shall be releasing as soon as possible. So get yourself a case using our code VG Studios to get 15% off your entire purchase and get free shipping throughout Canada. If you're new here, I make Python tutorials regularly with the aim to teach my viewers how to code Python and to inspire more people to start coding. In my last video we talked about tuples in Python and in this video we shall talk about sets. Just like lists, sets are also containers that store a collection of elements. However, unlike lists, elements in a set are unordered and unindexed, meaning that there is no particular order for elements stored in a set. Therefore, there are no indices for elements stored in a set. Due to this, set operations are quicker compared to the equivalent list operations. Also, sets in Python are similar to mathematical sets, meaning you can perform the same operations to these. Firstly, to create a set in Python, we can simply say the name, in this case, my set is equal to curly brackets and specify the elements separated by commas like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or you can simply change a list, string or tuple into a set using the set function like this my set is equal to set of my list or just like in lists and tuples we can create an empty set and add elements when we want to like this set1 is equal to set of we can't use empty braces to create an empty set though, because that is reserved for creating dictionaries which we shall be learning later in the next video. Next, let's talk about set functions. We can also obtain the length of a set in Python using the length function like this, print of len of set1. And we can get the sorted version of a set using the sorted function. For i, in sorted of my set print i however it should be noted that this shall return a list instead of a set since sets are mutable just like lists they can be modified and we can use set methods to modify them like this the add method to add elements the discard or remove methods to remove elements from a set However, the difference between these methods is that if the element does not exist in a set like this, the discard method shall not give an error, but the remove method will. The clear method to remove all elements of a set. Next, a set can also be a subset of another set if and only if all the elements in this set also belong to the other. We can use the is subset method in Python to see whether this is true or false for any set. For example, if set2 is subset of set1, print set1 is a subset of set2. Now let's talk about set operations. 
We can use the in and not in operators with sets, just like with lists, like this. If blue in set 1, print element found. Else, print element not found. To print all elements in a set using a for loop, we can simply say for element in my set print element next we can check the equality or inequality of sets using the equivalency operators like this if set 1 is equivalent to set 2 print these sets are the same else print these sets are different Finally, for our bonus section today, we shall carry out mathematical set operations such as union, intersection, differences and the addition of sets in the following way. To get the union of two sets, to get the intersection of two sets, to get the difference and the symmetric difference of two sets, one thing to remember about these operations is that they form new sets as the results instead of modifying the original sets. With that, we're done with today's video. So today we learned about sets and their properties, set functions, set methods, set operations and finally mathematical set operations. Thank you for watching my video guys. If you learned something new today, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. And if you have any kinds of suggestions or doubts, you can put them in the comment section below and I shall try my best to solve them. Thank you.